about did the babies that I lost did they go to heaven so um, you may have seen my other video about my near-death experience and what happened there I have a link to that below if you want to look at that but I did have another open vision and I usually have visions when I'm sitting in church and the music's on and I'll, I'll have visions but uh, I had been depressed and well I was being very sorrowful and, and mourning the the babies that I'd lost I'd lost six children uh, the first one I lost was uh, from hepatitis uh, in the hospital before I brought him home. He was two weeks old. And the second one uh, was from uh, a brain damage during the delivery. He was breech. And then the rest were con consecutively less and less and less length of time. But the only way that I could handle it at the time was I kept thinking, well, it's it's... Uh, one of my kids trying to make it in because I had my first one my my first child was nine months pretty good and uh, not pretty good he was great <laughs> anyway so um, I kept thinking well I have I have a child that's trying to make it through and I'll keep trying and I'll keep trying the doctors kept saying well uh, this was a rare thing just you know keep going until the last doctor I had uh, he found out what the problem was and I was bed uh, uh, in bed rest for seven months and I have my youngest son yay <laughs> so I got two boys here and then I got six kids in heaven so uh, well that answers the question doesn't it <laughs> well, let me tell you about my open vision so I was feeling sad about him like I didn't get to see him grow up I didn't let, get to see him get married or it's like my oldest is in his 50s now and my youngest is in his mid 40s so in between there I would have had a lot of kids so I was feeling sad about that and you know wishing I'd seen them grown up grow up and then I, I was sitting there uh, thinking about this and I had an open vision in other words I was awake and I was immediately with the same clarity and reality that I had with my near-death experience I was on this grass uh, and it was mesmerizing because it was the greenest grass I'd ever seen it was just I don't know, the closest I could come is when the grass first comes out and it has that translucent, beautiful green color. It was that only like ah, thousands of times better. So I mesmerized it at this grass, and as I'm looking, I notice that there's a gold wall uh, beyond this grass. Oh, I don't know, maybe 30 feet from me. And um, it wasn't smooth gold. It was kind of bumpy, bumpy gold. Uh, and to the right in that gold was a filigree gate, and the gate was maybe 15, 20 feet wide, but I couldn't see through it. It was like it was foggy on the other side. And then I memorized with this, this gold wall because it was so beautiful. It was just beautiful. And then I noticed that the wall had a corner, the corner that went around to my left. And... Uh, I was just mesmerized. I didn't know how tall it was. I didn't look up. It must have been pretty tall. So anyway, then all of a sudden, Jesus, and I knew it was Jesus just when I saw him automatically, but he, his hair was kind of hanging down and he was faced the other way, but he came around the corner with these um, kids, uh, these kids, and he was holding their hand and they were all skipping and laughing. They were just laughing like crazy. And they came around to my, my uh, right and then they came in right in front of me and a little girl stepped out, and she had uh, dark, curly, shoulder-length hair, real shiny hair, and the biggest dark brown eyes you ever saw. And I immediately recognized her, that this was the little girl, Jennifer, that I lost. And, and she was only like maybe three and a half feet tall, not very tall. And all the kids that had come around were all different heights. And uh, I... I didn't pay a lot of attention to Jesus. I was kind of just watching these kids go by. So I didn't really get a, um, a good look at his face because his hair was kind of hanging down and he was jumping around and skipping and <laughs> laughing. <laughs> so I, and all the kids were skipping and laughing. They were just having a great time. And then all of a sudden, I'm back back in my chair and I had an, had, had an open vision. And uh, I went, wow. 
And all the sadness and everything was gone because then I knew that when I went to heaven that I would see them. And I knew for sure that all the babies, all the kids that I had lost are all up there. And I realized that the other kids that were skipping by were actually my kids too. So there you go. Um, the answer to that question, this is kind of a short video. <laughs> the answer to that question is yes. And uh, you think now, like one of them was, it was like three months. So like how developed was the baby? And it, it was it really a person already. Well, I believe personally from just reading the Bible and my own understanding is that uh, a, a person becomes an individual when they have a new DNA, when there's a new DNA, when the mother's DNA and the father's DNA, they're, they're made, the baby is made with a, a new DNA. That's a new person. And I believe that's when God puts the spirit inside that that little baby yeah, that <laughs> growing in your womb so anyway that's that's my thought on the matter and um i just wanted to share with you how i got over that grief and how it made me feel a lot better that someday and not too long now because i'm in my 70s <laughs> so i will see them again in heaven so i hope you like this little one and oh i want to pray for you any of you out there that have lost babies or lost children I want to assure you that they're going to be in heaven and that they're with Jesus and they're happy and they're laughing. They're okay. They're safe. They're happy. And you will see them and you'll see them someday. And if you're having a hard time getting over that, I pray that I pray, Lord, Lord, that you will give them a vision and, and give them the assurity and the peace that their their babies are okay. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for this one. And I pray all that in Jesus name. Amen. <laughs> Sometimes I forget. I talk to the Lord all day, every day, and we just chit chat back and forth. So a lot of times I forget that I'm making an actual prayer. <laughs> so because <laughs> we're just we're just talking. Okay, so I will hopefully uh, thanks for sticking in this far. Thanks for clicking on this video and subscribe and uh, get a little notification because I'll be putting up another one probably Monday. Um, and that's going to be uh, RNDE's Biblical. Oh, I, I like that one. I'm going to bring in a lot of Bible verses to explain what I found out. Anyway, that's next time. So see you next time. Bye-bye.